Hello, welcome to plsql02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll talk about if then else conditional control flow. We have already studied if then flow. If then flow works like this if some condition, if this condition results in true, then all these statements are executed. Otherwise, nothing is executed. Okay, then Oracle simply jumps to and if and see what whatever is after and if is executed. Okay, so if then else is similar. Uh, so if some condition if condition results in true then statement w 1 and 2 and of course if even if there are more statements after that would be executed if the condition results in false then all the statements in the else clause would be executed okay so in in this case th statement 3 and 4 would be executed let me go back so in case of if then uh, syntax if condition results in true then statement 1 and 2 would be executed if condition results in false and nothing is executed okay now let's come back to if then else uh, clause here so if condition is true then 1 and 2 is executed if condition is false then 3 and 4 is executed in terms of uh, 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 flowchart this is how it works so if some condition if this condition is true then all these statements are executed okay uh, given after the then keyword if the condition is false then all the statements given after the else keywords are executed okay and finally and if is reached so let's do some examples uh, we on the actual environment that's the best way to learn so let me just log in into Oracle Express I click on SQL I click on um, SQL commands so just write a short program similar to what we wrote in the previous tutorial so before I write a program uh, what I'm gonna do is I just create the whole structure of a PLSQL program uh, so let's declare a variable same variable would do so we have a variable score and let's initialize the variable uh, score is equal to okay uh, this is a bind variable here so we are initializing a variable with some user input so bind variable means you already know that Oracle will ask user to input the value while before the program is sent over to or uh, to the database for processing. Okay, so uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put start a we're gonna write a if else then a control flow. So let me just create a structure here. So if some condition, then all these statements. Otherwise, all these statements and then and if. Okay, so what condition? So if we score is value in v score is less than let's say 30 uh, so less than 30 then we're gonna s send this to the database dbms output put line you have failed okay so let me copy paste this otherwise if the score is not less than 30 then definitely it's either 30 or more so if 30 or more then we have passed although it's a very low passing score but anyway for the sake of um, an example this would do the job so let me try running this program control enter statement running screen is popping up Oracle is asking me to enter value for score let's say I scored 80 how humble of me so let me click on submit so Oracle or the program has sent uh, printed this line to the screen you have passed okay let me read on this program control enter and the window will pop up asking me to enter score let's say if I enter score this time 29 submit and uh, let's see you have failed okay so you have seen an uh, example so again we just declared a variable here v score we initialize this variable by something uh, uh, the, the value we are putting in this score uh, in the variable v score is underscore score and underscore score is a bind variable so it will be replaced by the user input before this, this whole program is sent over to oracle for processing then this is the actual actual if then uh, this is actually then statement here if v score is less than 30 then send this uh, output to the uh, screen otherwise send this output to the screen all right so i hope you uh, practice uh, this on your own before we move on to the next tutorial i'll see you in the next tutorial